Uh, now to the ice, and we're not talking hockey tonight. No, this Saturday, Seattle will be hosting the U.S. Men's Curling Championships. The one-week event will feature the nation's 12 best curling teams, with the winner earning a berth in the World Championships. KCPQ's Mike Blakey tells us more about the sport in this report. Today, players from the Washington State Entry staged a demonstration at the site of next week's national championships, the Granite Curling Club in North Seattle. To most of us, it is a foreign sport, but one that is also fairly easy to understand. First of all, the game is played on a sheet of ice 138 feet long. A shooter sends the rock, which weighs 42 pounds, towards what is known as the house, or what looks like a bullseye. This is where the scoring is calculated. Basically, the object is to get more rocks in the center than your opponents. En route to the house, the rocks are guided by two sweepers, and they receive their instructions from someone called the skip. I think it's a very high pressure game. Uh, there's a lot of individual pressure. It's, uh, it's not a body contact sport, so I think that the, uh, one of the hardest uh, um, uh, things to develop is the mental technique to, uh, to handle the pressure because the, the shots require a lot of finesse and uh, games are won and lost on fractions and uh, missed shots. So there's a, you'll see a lot, of, a lot of people under pressure out here during this week. A former national champion himself, Gary Schnee, is acting as co-chairman of this year's event, and he feels confident about Seattle's role as host. Well, we've had a fair amount of experience in running this type of an event. Uh, we've ran the Junior National Championships on two occasions. We've had the Ladies National Championships, and, and uh, we have uh, hosted the men's 20 years ago. So we had some background to go on, and uh, we've prepared approximately one year for this event. In Seattle, I'm Mike Blakey for Q13 Sports.